All right, it's been a minute since we've taken a look at this fellow right here. We got some Roy Chubby Brown, uh, Cray Twins. So yeah, let's take a look at this, shall we? When I met her, I always remember she wouldn't have sex before marriage, yeah. But to be honest, she wouldn't have sex fucking after it either. <laughs> I said, why don't you like sex, she went? Well, when I was little, my dad took me to a farm and I was chased by a rooster. So I'm afraid of cocks. <laughs> <laughs> No one wanted to start at that joke when I was younger. My father, wait, what? <laughs> but thank God it continued on. I <laughs> chased by a rooster, so I was afraid of cocks. <laughs> no. <laughs> this set up the dentist. <laughs> it's so simple, but God, that's hilarious. I love the set up the dentist. I was chased by a rooster, so I ate cock. Oh, shit. Oh, hell. You know, sometimes you need to watch stuff just to laugh. And I'm going to be honest with you. I, I think I need something to take. And uh, this is uh, this might be perfect. So I'm afraid of cocks. <laughs> she said, I only married you because you said you got your penis fucking shut off the Falklands. I said, yeah, I did. Yeah, but you never mentioned your 12-inch stump. <laughs> <laughs> you can get the Viagra now over the counter, but only in boots. So if you turn up in your Jesus sandals, lads, you won't get fucking served. Lord have mercy. Do you mind if I have a drink of gin? Okay. Oh, is that for me? Do you mind if I just... Uh, yeah. Thanks, thanks. No, don't say you can't get any either. I couldn't... I nearly fucking... I, I bet you down there a few minutes ago, Jeff. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Down that quick. Not that I like a drink, but I'm fucking glass, so are you? <laughs> <laughs> Somebody's jealous because I can't get a fucking bite. <laughs> hey, Aunt, isn't it? Bro, I just, I love this suit that he's got. It's this patchwork, like, quilted suit and those aviation glasses. It's one of the things with the first video I just. It's compared to everybody else we've looked at that does comedy on this channel. It sets him so much apart, right? It sets him so much apart. Because it's, I'll be honest with you, it's like a one man ensemble. It's kind of what it's <laughs> sounds. It probably didn't come off the way I wanted it to, but it's kind of you got an uh, ensemble cast of things. You know, of people for a production. The ensemble is his uh, is his s suit, his get up on this. In true life, the funniest fucking things. I'm in Glasgow, the night Scotland beat England in 1974, Wembley 4 2, and I'm in the middle of Glasgow. And I said, I'm not the comedian, I've come for the goalpost back. <laughs> 60 pint glasses bounced off me fucking head. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the unluckiest country. Uh, what happened with me, uh, ben, I was a big friend of Bernard's, Bernard Manning, and uh, he called me his love child. And he, he did this big show in London, and the, the George Savage, the Greek, said to him, do you know anybody else that does your type of music? He said, there's a lad from the North East called Chubby Brown, he's, he's up and coming, why don't you book him? So I get a phone call, I mean, the fucking fee was about 50 quid then. I went all the way to London, and I, I, I said, don't put me on at 12 o'clock, because I won't get a fucking laugh. I said, put me on a little bit earlier. He said, half past 10. So I walked on and I swear down with the Lord straight me dead. There's a table here. Well, 25 blokes on the table. Champagne bottles. There must be 70 champagne. They wouldn't let the waitresses take the bottles away. And they were a bit frightened of them. I, did, I didn't realise they shouted to me and I'm shouting, God, take your face for the shit. And they're fucking shouting back and I'm like, fucking hell. And then, anyway, I come off after about 50 minutes and George came and addressed me and went, oh, fucking hell, chubs. I think we're in the shit. I said, we're in the shit. <laughs> he said, have you heard of the Korea twins? Oh, no. This is 1968, 69. I went, yeah. Have you heard of Frankie Maddox Fraser? Scarface car, Mac Vitti the hat. They're all around that table. 
Have you had a Lenny McLean, the gypsy bare knuckle fighter? He's just done 12 years for beating a bloke to death with his fists. I said, yeah. You've just told him he's got a face like a cow's cunt. <laughs> I said, where's the back door? He said, we haven't got one. I said, where do you fucking want one? <laughs> yeah, oh, I love that. Oh, not only do I love the jokes, this story. Yeah, that's it's not who you want to cross. Uh, that's not who you wanted to cross uh, the Cray Twins. Uh, I've seen the movie Legend, and I'm sure it's a way worse. I'm sure it was way worse dealing with them than what it showed. That, though, is absolutely just, oh, my God. <laughs> Got a face like a cow's cut. <laughs> well, the ability to tell a story. It, that joke, that first joke, it was, the setup was so beautiful on it. But, number one, whenever I was younger, my my father, oh, wait, that's not, that's, she's talking about the reason why she don't like, you asked the reason why she don't like to have sex, and the first thing she uh, says is, when I was younger, my father, that's not what you want to hear, but thank God it went on, like I said, the setup was perfect, took me to a farm, and I got chased by a rooster, like just, the whole setup, as a reason why she didn't like cocks, perfect, and then, a little bit of the, you know, stuff with crowd, with the crowd, you know, with the drink and everything like that, but then talking about, in the younger days, in the 60s and 70s, and being in a club there in London and insulting the table that's got these 70 champagne bottles and it's the Cray Twins and these all, all these, you know, London gangsters talking about where's the back door? Oh, where you want it? Like, that's... I love that. Absolutely, that's... Oh, my God. I'd love to see him live. I would love to see him live. I hope y'all enjoyed this. Y'all be good to each other. Love yourselves. Peace.